Welcome to the Session Nuance video. All right, so we're introducing full extension overhand. The very first drill we do is with no stick, just the ball in your strong hand, top hand, strong hand. And what we're trying to do is leave the elbow completely locked out for the entirety of the release. So you're gonna bring that hand up and over without snapping your elbow. You're just gonna snap your wrists. So that elbow stays completely locked out for the whole set. All right, second set, very similar approach, but now we have the stick in our hands and we're gonna do our best to keep that elbow straight. Okay, so try not to let the elbow bend and you're gonna bring that hand up and over your head, getting a very, very, very high release point because you're extending your hand as far away from your body as you can. Okay, snap that wrist at the top. Now we go two-handed. This is gonna translate to our full extension overhand shot. And we don't have to lock the elbow out for this one. You can bring that in just enough to keep your arms relaxed, All right? So we still wanna have a up and over motion, kind of like a rainbow. All right, now we're gonna go through that exact same sequence on the weak side. So you're starting with no stick look back at your hand as much as you need to make sure that you're not letting that elbow bend right and you're coming straight up and over that ball's leaving your hand above your head all right the second set for the weak hand here is just top hand only all right this is going to be pretty challenging for a good amount of us that are likely on our left hand at this point do your best to take your time and really focus on the main goal of getting the ball to leave your stick as far above your head as you can. Right, it's not about power, this is about gaining new release points. Okay, and then from there we're going to our two-handed release. So add that bottom hand for this overhand full extension on the weak side and do your best not to let that elbow bend too much. Okay, nice up and over motion. Don't worry about power. <clears throat> okay, now it's important that we distinguish the difference between what we've been working on for overhand, snappers, and this, full extension. So we're alternating between an overhand snapper and an overhand full extension. The snapper just basically put that stick on your shoulder, snap your wrist, the overhand full extension we want to get that full range of motion that those hands out and away from our body so we're alternating that okay rep number eight we have four different exercises here and now it's very similar to the last one but on the weak side but we have an added component where we're going to do top hand only and then two-handed so we alternate between those same two but we have top hand only here for snapper, top hand only here for full extension overhand, and then we go to two-handed snapper, and then two-handed full extension overhand. All right, really focusing on the weak hand today. Set number nine, we have four different exercises, and now we're including changing hands. So we're gonna go through all the way to a full extension overhand on the weak side, but we start strong-handed sidearm, which we've been working on, snapper overhand, switch over to the other side, snapper, and then we go into that full extension on the weak side. All right, so we have those four different releases that we're going A, B, C, D. Make sure that we're not going three quarters for any of these overhand releases, okay? Stay straight over the top. All right, and the last set for this practice plan, we are alternating both sides, full extension overhand, right, throw, catch, switch hands. Throw, catch, switch hands. For this drill, you should be getting your feet switching uh, which foot's in front, light on your feet, right, constantly uh, switching sides and having the ability to be smooth from catch into exchange into release with this full extension. All right, that's the theme of the day. Let's make sure that we're focusing on the details. Good luck.